Bokeh Tov Chavrim, I'm Stephen Benun, you're watching Israeli News Live. A, a recent decision here by French authorities is definitely screaming conspiracy theory all over it. According to RT News uh, that came out early this morning, police are demanding that the Nice authorities completely delete footage the, of the fatal truck report. All right, now here's what comes down to the question, conspiracy theorists are naturally going to jump on this and say what's in the footage that they do not want people to see? What's going on in the background? What's happening that could be damaging to possibly the French government or even another government that could have been involved in this attack? Or is it really, are they that concerned that footage from the horrific attack could get out to the public uh, scenes that they would rather them not see because uh, for the care and concern of the families, which of course is a very legitimate uh, uh, issue as well. But to delete the footage is totally uncalled for. There is ways to secure the footage where it does not become public. But the issue is to come and to say to delete the footage is highly suspicious of what may have been going on. What did the cameras catch? Many people will be asking that. It says French anti-terrorist police demand Nice authorities delete footage from surveillance cameras and any other videos which captured the fatal truck attack on Bastille Day, uh, Le, uh, Le Fargo newspaper reported citing sources. The request was sent by anti-terrorist subdirectorate SDAT, a special police division battling extremism to the mayor of Nice office on Wednesday, according to the paper. Excuse me, Figaro managed to obtain the copy of the document in which SDAT, citing articles of the criminal and penal codes, demand the city authorities delete completely nearly 24 hours of the attack captured on cameras and promenades de Angale. Deleting the recordings between July 14, 2016 at 22.30 and July 15, 2016, 1800, the do document demands. The anti-terrorist police named six cameras which recordings should be particularly deleted, plus the city's authorities should delete any footage from any camera that captured the crime scene, the paper added. Guys, this is evidence. To begin with, the, the, the evidence of the most heinous crime that has happened on French soil in some time. 84 people were killed. What is it about this? What's going on that they do not want people to see? Now, of course, some of that footage has made it into public domain, such as this one here uh, that has captured some of the attack itself. But is there something that the authorities have seen in the video other than that of what has happened to the innocent people, which quite frankly, even though the truck is coming through here, you, the, the video footage does not really show graphic detail of what happens other than you see people get hit by a truck. Okay, so what is going on? What is happening with this? And why is the authorities wanting to cover up the footages of, of all, in fact, all of the footage. Why are they doing it? It doesn't make sense, friends. Something is up. There is a reason for it. You know, if they were going to do it for the sake of uh, the, of the, uh, for the sake of the families that lost loved ones, then make that public yourselves. You know, don't make what we see in the footages here don't make that become something that is not known because you're trying to cover up something. All right, it, it just is too strange of a story. And I'm telling you, conspiracy theorists are going to take this to another level and with every right so. Again, let me share with you uh, the name of the paper here, the request was sent by an anti-terrorist subdirectorate, SDAT, a special police division battling extreme, extremism, to the, mayor's, uh, to the mayor of Nice's office on Wednesday, according to the paper. That paper, uh, let me find the name of that. 
Pastor Dale, uh, okay, La, uh, La Fi, uh, Figaro newspaper is the one that reported the article originally. And again, they said they actually a, a, a obtained a copy of the request. I'm Stephen Benoon. This is very troubling, especially with 9-11. And don't forget, President Putin of Russia has promised on the anniversary to release the footage of what actually happened there. And also, by the way, Speaking of President Putin there, there are some Russian news sources that are stating that uh, it was Putin that rescued Erdogan from the uh, attack that was done in Turkey. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Shalom.